can make a difference. We have made a humongous amount of progress in a very short time. <laughs> Now, yesterday you may have heard that Premier Horgan announced that he and Minister Dix are committed to working with Doctors of BC on, and I quote, a clear process with firm timelines in order to make tangible progress on this complex problem. <laughs> Personally, I'm an optimist. I view this as an excellent step in the right direction. But we will not be placated simply by promises and announcements and statements. <laughs> BC Healthcare Matters isn't going anywhere until every single British Columbian can see a doctor when they need it, and where they need it. We have seen a massive community of people come together to pressure this government for change. And look at what we've accomplished. We see it here with the unbelievable energy and the passion you bring here today. When I wrote this speech, I had no idea <laughs> what this would look like. This is unbelievable. This is beyond my wildest dreams. <sighs> I want to say I am incredibly motivated and inspired by everybody here today and at home and so proud of our community and our supporters. Everyone here and at home is completely vital to this campaign. We owe every single success to you and to the efforts of our community. So thank you for that. We now see that the thousands of petition signatures and MLA letters that we have put forward are working. The government is beginning to respond to our efforts and to the plight of almost one million people without a family doctor. This rally today is just the beginning. <laughs> it is vital that we keep this momentum going. I hope to see every single one of you in our emails, on our Facebook group, writing letters to your MLAs, continuing to support this campaign. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you to Camille Curry. Thank you to all of our volunteers today. We absolutely wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Thank you. What just happened? A couple of extraordinary people demonstrating an advocacy for all of us. Come on, let's rock this place. Woo! Let's let these politicians know Woo! that we mean business. Come on, come on. Yes. And what would any event be without the world famous Raging Grannies. Yes! Speaking to this issue, well, singing to this issue. And uh, I, I know the songs, they're pretty cool. We can do a little jig. So, this is a chance for you to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, sort of physical break here. For all of the speakers that are going to come to the mic, do speak and. Present your voice, please, because apparently folks at the back can't entirely hear us. At the back, can you hear us? Yes. Yes. We're going to arc around her. Okay? Let's, let's circle, circle around the mics. And it, can you aim the mics out a little? Good. Well, okay, we're the Raging Grannies, and we're furious about the situation. 
situation of public health and the lack of doctors. We're furious about it. I don't know what else to say, and thank you, everybody. We just have to keep this up till we get doctors. Here's a tune from the uh, 80s, 90s, you might recognize. A little more recent than most of our stuff. <laughs> Hot fever tonight, and cold, cold sweats. We haven't been able to find a doctor yet. We need you to prescribe our meds yeah. to help us get up out of bed. A doctor, doctor, where are you? We got a bad case of missing you. No way to cure our booze. We got a bad case of missing you. A serious case. A failing heart. We're in rough shape. Where do we start? We're 109 on your wait list. Woo. Tell the government now that we are pissed. Oh, doctor, doctor, where are we do? We got a bad case of missing you. No way to cure our boots. We got a bad case of missing you. We got a bad By the way, we're written by Charlene here. <laughs> nice. Okay. You pass the kidney stone, and what do you do? You can't find a doctor, and you're 92. You call me health and hope you get through. It's a long, painful wait, and when you do, you're told get to emergency right away. You should see a doctor right away. So you sit in the church for seven long hours. Your faith in our healthcare definitely leaves ours. A lot of doctors hoped, a lot of doctors tried to give us their best while their hands were tied. Trying to run a business with a 10 minute guide. And meanwhile, our public healthcare died. Where have all our doctors gone? I think that our government has got it wrong. We've got to treat patients and pay them well so we can get out of failed health care hell. A lot of doctors hoped, a lot of doctors tried to give us their best while their hands were tied. Trying to run a business with a 10 minute guide and meanwhile our public health care 